Richard Holden. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. And I'd like to associate my uh, comments now with the uh, uh, comments of the members of Beaconsfield a little earlier. Uh, yesterday it was announced that the review and audit uh, by the Works and Art Committee uh, of Art Across Parliament. At the height of the global coronavirus pandemic, Durham County Council launched a similar review, spending days of officers' time on a pointless exercise making, uh, looking at uh, works of art across County Durham. We all want to see the very best of Britain showcased in this Parliament and the uh, context of historical pieces. However, does the uh, leader agree with me uh, that uh, at this time of the global coronavirus pandemic, Parliament can do better than following the a panicked uh, Labour-led Durham County Council uh, in bending the knee to woke political agenda. Mr Deputy Speaker, we should take, as I said before, pride in this royal throne of kings, this sceptred isle, this earth of majesty, this seat of Mars, this other Eden demi-paradise, this fortress built for nature by herself against infection and the hand of war, this happy breed of men, this little world, this precious stone set in the silver sea, which serves it in the office of a wall or as a moat defensive to a house. Against the envy of less happier lands, this blessed plot, this earth, this realm, this England, and had William Shakespeare lived in a later day, he would have said this United Kingdom, because that is what we should take pride in. And no, we should most certainly not be overwhelmed by wokeism. And you may wonder why I read that quotation today. Well, it is National Poetry Day. So I thought it was only appropriate that we have a proper quotation and we stand up for our great nation. I, I hope this is going out on Sky Arts. It's wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> Video link, Jessica Morden.